Why are you pulling over? We are just now in North Dakota. What? Half and half. Officially, we are in half and half. North Dakota, South Dakota. We're in both right now. Guys, we have been driving all day long. We left at 5 a.m. from B Max house this morning and we are headed, well, we're there, but we're headed to North Dakota. And this country is so cool. It is wide open. Prairie land, grassland, and there is like 20 pheasants out in that field right there. We've seen a whole grundle of them. Dude, I want to go get the shotguns out right now. I'm sure BMAC is dying to get some pheasants. But the good news is... Oh shoot, selfie. Selfie! The good news is we are on our way to hunt whitetail bucks in North Dakota. And we decided on the drive here, why not do a semi-live series because you guys sure seem to like them. So, five days of hunting. That's right. Whitetail in the good old state of North Dakota. It's my first time here. My first ever whitetail hunt ever in my life. So I can't wait to try this out. So we're going to North Dakota, hunt whitetails for five days. We're gonna make a video every day for you guys. We should have a really good Wi-Fi connection at the house we're staying in. Um, we're going out to the three Butte ranches. And we're probably gonna do some pheasant hunting while we're there too. Yeah, there's pheasant running in the field. See him chasing? Oh yeah, way out there. Like right there. You guys probably can't see it. That's what I love about the Dakota. Dude, they're going crazy. Dakota's is like the pheasant hunting mecca of the United States. I've hunted in South Dakota a long time ago with my dad, but North Dakota has equal opportunities for pheasants. So we get to do that when we're not deer hunting. That is fun. And maybe look for sheds. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. But anyways, guys, stick with us. Video day. Today we'll be traveling. We'll be going to town to get our out-of-state hunting tags and licenses. And uh, it's going to be fun. So we've got the the Hoyt bows for deer and we got the Weatherby shotguns for bird hunting. So let's go. What hour are we on? I think this is just tipped over 13. It's a long drive guys. Check out this land though. I want to show you why we're driving. We uh, started in Salt Lake. We drove all the way through Wyoming to like Gillette. Cat we hit uh, Gillette and Casper, drove through there. Uh oh, roadkill. What is it? What was that? Mule deer. deer? Little deer. Small deer. Yeah, it's been a long drive, but it's been fairly flat, like all the way through Wyoming and then uh, South Dakota and now North Dakota. Not a lot of mountains where we went through, but we've been able to see mule deer, whitetail, which is so cool because we never get to see whitetail uh, in Utah, and a ton of antelope and a ton of pheasants now that we're out here. Oh, they're just one just flew up. <laughs> they're everywhere out here. It's crazy. The Dakotas are famous for pheasants. You guys probably won't see it, but there's a couple of them out there. Dang, they're so pretty, man. Look, there's another one. Whoa, there's two more. <laughs> Holy cow. They're everywhere. This, yeah, okay, so pheasant hunting would probably be really fun if you, if you did it out here versus where I've been, which is two pheasant farms in Utah. This looks like a lot more fun. We are gonna have a blast. I wish I brought my dog now. I'm having, <laughs> I'm having a little remorse. There's, There's more out there. A lot of fun because they're, they're everywhere. Crazy. And uh, the whitetail hunting looks promising where we're going. Gonna be a new experience. I've never whitetail hunted in my life. Always wanted to out of a tree stand with a bow. So get to check that box. Can't wait for uh, checking out some new country and doing some different kind of hunting. Uh, look at some of these uh, trail cam pictures I got sent that are off the property we're gonna be on. Look at this beast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that guy steps out under my tree stand. Definitely gonna give a shot for that. That's a nice little eight pointer. This split eye guards buck is cool. That's a beast, that's a big whitetail. Like, I can shoot a big mature whitetail buck like that, I'd be so happy. Plus, whitetail meat is really, really good. I've only taken one whitetail out in Missouri. Very tasty. Look, here's another good one. Yeah, so that's kind of what we'll be looking for. Big, mature bucks. Oh my goodness, do you guys see what time? Oh my 
2.06 in the a.m. Dude, we've been driving since 5.30 in the a.m. And let me just tell you, Bismarck Walmart, I got some words for you. We were on an absolute goat rodeo trying to get our tags. First place didn't have them, guy didn't know how to operate the system, had to go to a second place. No, and yeah, rewind, that took about an it took him about a half hour to just get the login information from his manager who was not there. Went through everything, another 20 minutes. He's like, guys, I don't even have non-resident tags here. <laughs> Try to give us resident tags. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Robert from Walmart and Bismarck. That would work He was well. going to print us out resident tags. We're like, yeah, that's not a good idea. What are other options? So we had to drive all the way across town to another Walmart finally got our deer tags and it is now 207 a.m. we just pulled up to the ranch house it's been dark this entire time so we have no clue where we're at we have no clue what it looks like it's foggy it's foggy there's protests going on out here <laughs> we we don't really know even what we're in for this this whole trip but all i know is i'm exhausted and eric got a nap and i, I did didn't. get to nap that's not fair b mac is the the man the driver so here is the ranch house we're staying at. It's hard to see. We're gonna get our bags and go inside. All right, we are getting all packed up for the morning. Here is my room. How nice, right? All I need, somewhere to sleep and somewhere to put all my stuff. So I got the bow is ready, boots ready. I got all my cold weather gear from First Light right before I came, so that stuff's good to go. My mountain ops, my horn under packs, and uh, camera equipment, everything's charging, ready to go. B Mac looks like he's getting prepared. And man, this guy came prepared. I mean, he's got rattling antlers. I'm gonna rattle, man. I'm gonna, I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's gonna work. <laughs> he's gonna turn the can upside down. Look at what we got here, too, guys. A little sneak. That peek. is sharp. Ooh. The first look at the First Light Fusion. Coming soon, like in February. Yeah, guys, samples, these are getting getting done and samples uh, have been taking a while, but it's because they look so good. That's right. We're gonna make sure they get them right before we put them on the website. That's right, that's right. You got all the gear, dude. I don't even know what gloves to wear. I have so many different kinds. Oh my gosh, How no kidding. How many gloves do you need? We got bibs. Yeah, I got bibs too. You got the bow. Got the Woodbury jacket. Excited to use this. this that's a, yeah, that is, so, that is so that's the same one I just barely got. Yeah. Soft and quiet. Really warm. It's gonna be perfect for sitting in a stand and not not much act. You know, not much hiking. Definitely. Not. Face mask. Warm weather. We're prepared for any conditions here in North Dakota. So yeah guys, tomorrow, we're excited. Tomorrow is our first day. Um, we have like no clue what to expect because we drove in here in the dark. So I have no clue what like outside looks like. But uh, we do know we're gonna sit together tomorrow morning. We're gonna be sitting about 10 yards apart so we can kind of self film or we can film each other. And uh, there's supposed to be a couple good bucks that are pretty consistent in this area. And it's kind of down in this little coulee and it is kind of their travel route from feeding to bedding area. So tomorrow we'll get up early, we'll go sit for as long as we can. I guarantee I'm not going to be able to sit very long, I'll be so tired, B-Max probably even more tired than I am. And uh, yeah, we'll just hunt tomorrow and then we're going to take a drive around the property, get a look at some of the other stands and see some of the other areas that we're going to hunt. But that's it for tonight, um, just kind of announcement that we are doing the semi live series so don't forget a video a day until this is all over. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe because we will be giving you daily videos. You don't want to miss the updates, so that's subscribe. Right. That's right, that's right. It's going to get good. All right, guys, it is bedtime. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>